In this tutorial, we will see how to use cross-section generator to create customized profiles. The cross-section you are looking for may not be found either here in the rolled sections or welded sections. In such cases, we use cross-section generator which allows to create personalized cross-sections. To open this editor, we go to the welded and composed tab, and we choose this last option, general steel cross-section. When you click on this image, a new window named General Cross-Section Editor will open. The new cross-section has to be generated from already existing sections. Thus, the software starts this cross-section navigator as seen. We can select one of the simple sections either rolled or cold formed. In this example, let's choose an HEB300 and add some lateral plates to this section. Now I have my section. Before making additions, let's get to know the editor interface a little more. We have a ribbon menu consisting of mainly two parts, work tools and visual tools. For instance, I can undo, redo add a new section or copy. Moreover I can turn on dimensions which can be useful for complex cross sections, or I can change the colors according to different filters. We have a general navigator at the left of the screen and by default when we start, it is always be in shape section. We can view in points our section, we can get some analysis results, design data and report by using the navigator. We will see the details further on. At the center of the screen, we have the graphic window, and the bottom of the screen we have a list of the cross-section components. In this case, I have only one section, but the list will grow as I add new ones. Almost all properties here in the list are used for positioning. Feel free to position all the sections by trial error. Now let's add some plates to this section. We can add a new member in two ways, either this plus icon on the list or the new button on the ribbon menu. Then I choose the plate in this window, and I can edit the name, geometry and material of the plate from here. We see here that the materials of the HEB section and the plates can be different. I am going to take into consideration welding between the eye profile and plates, so I will change the length of the plate as 290, and apply. By default, the software will place the plate like this, and how do we position this element? We need these parameters here in the list, the rotations and offsets to place the plate. For example, write 90 to Rx and 150 to Z parameter. As you can see, the place of the plate is changed. I will delete these and go on. Another feature that makes positioning of the members much easier is called master component. In any element row, if you select another element as the master component, the selected element is taken as reference. For instance, I want to change the position of the plate and do it easily, so I should select a master component for it. Let's take the master component as HEB300. After the selection, some numbers will appear around the eye profile. These points will are references for this positioning. In order to position the plate at the right side of the eye profile, I should select 3 as master point. Currently, the plate is connected to point 3 from its center, because 0 for the plate is its center. So select 1, the insert point of the plate. To see which number corresponds to which position, you just need to zoom to the members. While continuing, I write 90 to Rx. It is not the rotation I want, and if I write minus 90, that is it. Currently the sections intersect, if we select the insert point as 7, this intersection will be prevented. Since I want a weld length of 5 mm of both ends, I also need to use offset. I will write here on Y, 5 mm, and currently the plate is in the position I want. Now to create a new plate, I can do the same things but as an easy way, I can duplicate the plate. Once I have copied, the only thing I have to do is change the master point and the insert point. The master point should be now 1, and insert point should be 1 as well. If you want to modify the elements, click on this pencil icon and then you can modify the properties of the elements in this window. Also you can use this red cross to delete the element. To make visible the numbers of components here in the list, click on component numbers. If you click on current on the colors part, you will see the selected section in red and others in yellow. 
If we used different materials like concrete, it would be meaningful to use material button in the colors part. We finished the section. Now I can click OK to load it to the model, or I can view the stresses from the results tab. We can also see the results as a table under the graphic window. We can view stress points in the table by clicking the stress points button. The software gives us some other geometrical properties of newly created section. For example, area, the second moment of area, elastic and plastic section modules. These are just a few. I can obtain the stress distributions under forces and moments relative to many axes through the buttons in the ribbon menu. Like stress points, I can view stress points values via this button. The extreme values button is used to see the maximum and minimum values. And finally, if you want to generate a report only for this cross section and not for all the connection, you can use design data and report tabs. So click OK and return to idea statica connection. There is a significantly important difference between creating this section with the editor and creating individually. What is creating individually? Without using editor, I can put an HEB 300 profile and two plates on the sides and weld them and create this section on this screen. I called this creating individually. That is not entirely correct since that, the software do not consider all the section as a bearing element. So in this way, only the HEB section be considered as a bearing element. However, when you generate the section with the editor, the bearing element will be the whole section. So you have to introduce more internal forces when you create individually. And also you will have not a sole result, but three results for the column. You can imagine that combining these results will be very difficult.